the key element is finding finding your artist. You and your artist should have a relationship where he does awesome work and you get awesome work. Um, you should allow your your artist as much freedom as possible because he's going to know how it's going to lay out as a quarter sleeve or a half sleeve or a full sleeve because he has a lot of experience doing that. I've found with, with tattooed clients, even very heavily tattooed clients, that generally speaking, um, their ideas aren't very good. It's like me going to a plumber and telling him what I think he should do to make all the pipes work when really I just want the pipes to be awesome, you know. It's when you pay somebody and that's their vocation, their livelihood, and uh, what they do, chances are that they are going to be able to provide you with an incredible set of art that you would have never even considered. It's good to give guidelines though, you know, like or, or ideas. Not like, hey, I want this with this around it with these initials in it. Because then that's exactly what you're going to get and it's going to be crap. Um, but if you're like, well, I really want to represent temptation or some kind of some kind of idea or some kind of feeling or mood or tone or experience, then I would relay that to my artist and say, hey, you know, I want to get something that represents the fact that I just had a child. Now, that doesn't mean you need to get a picture of the baby all busted with funny hair and, you know, no teeth and stuff. There's a million ways to represent parenting and reproduction and love and eternal bliss and like all this crap. Um, responsibility. Like you can, if you just think about the concept and give your artist those, then he can take those and create something incredible with it.